Question number four, Andrew Little. Thank you, Mr Speaker. My question is to the Prime Minister. Has he met with the families of the Pike River miners today? If not, why not? The Right Honourable Prime Minister. Uh, Mr Speaker, it hasn't been possible to meet with the families at uh, such short notice, uh, but I spoke with Ber uh, ran into Bernie Muck this morning. Um, I'm happy to meet with the families at some point in the future and possibly before Christmas, but I must emphasise that any decision to re-enter the mine is not a political decision. It's a decision about the safety of the mine. Supplementary. Order. Supplementary question, Andrew Little. In light of his answer that it's not a political question, is he going to keep John Key's promise and do everything he can to get the bodies out? The Right Honourable Prime Minister. Well, Mr Speaker, it is uh, a question of whether it is safe to get the bodies out without putting other lives at risk in a workplace which compared to any other workplace in New Zealand where Kiwis right now are worried about their safety, this is a particularly dangerous one. That's really the key issue. Supplementary. Supplementary question. Order. 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 Andrew Little, supplementary question. Mr Speaker, will he come with me after question time? have a proper meeting with the families, look them in the eye and tell them why he is ignoring their pleas. The Right Honourable Prime Minister. Uh, Mr Speaker, no, because that would be falling in with the Leader of the Opposition's view that there is a political decision to be made which, which may involve putting New Zealanders' lives at risk in one of the most dangerous workplaces as we know, in New Zealand. The core issue here is to respect the distress of the families, but acknowledge that the decision about going in the mine is essentially one of safety, not politics, because that member would be the first to complain if more lives were lost because a politician overrode the law passed by this parliament. Supplementary. Order. Supplementary question, Andrew Little. When he says it should be up to the experts to determine whether re-entering the mine is safe, is he aware a report saying re-entry is safe has been written by Dr David Creedy, Vice Chair of the UN Group of Experts on Coal Mine Methane, and Bob Stevenson, former UK Principal Mines Inspector, and that report has been peer-reviewed and endorsed by the United Kingdom's leading mines rescue expert, Brian Robinson, and by mining ventilation experts John Rowland and Dr Roy Morby. The Right Honourable Prime Minister. Well, Mr Speaker, in the first place, my general understanding of the reports is that they say it may be possible, which is not the same as saying it's safe. And secondly, the member, the member should understand the legislation that he ad advocated for, which brings together judgment about safety and legal responsibility for anyone in that workplace. So whatever any independent expert says, someone who is responsible for the people who might go into that mine are legally responsible for their lives. And that is the correct way, according to the law of the land, that that decision should be made, not with some political meeting misleading the families that somehow the law can be overridden. Supplementary. Order. Supplementary question, Andrew Little. Why doesn't he do the right thing, listen to the families, and fulfil his government's promise to do everything he can to get their men out? The right honourable Prime Minister. Uh, well, Mr Speaker, the government, of course, has explored at some length the possibilities with respect to retrieving the bodies from the mine. Uh, but it is not going to be in the position or put in the position where a political decision is made to put lives at risk in contravention, in contravention of the law of this parliament. The member, should, the member seems, to, seems to not understand that right now there's people putting up scaffolding around one-storey houses because that is what the law requires 
by the employers of painters to ensure that the risks are mitigated. And if he thinks they go to that trouble to fulfil their legal responsibilities, imagine what effort would have to be made to go to the trouble of protecting a single person from every danger in that mine. Supplementary. What a, what a supplementary question, Ron Mark. Thank you, Mr Speaker. To the Prime Minister. Then if all of that was known to his government at the time that the former Prime Minister made his pledge, why will he not simply, to quote the Prime Minister, get some guts and do the right thing? Order. The Right Honourable Prime Minister. Well, Mr Speaker, it is simply not the right thing for a politician to override our workplace safety and instruct people to put their lives at risk when those risks are likely to be unreasonable. Order. 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 Question.